Hi, I'm Jennifer Green, fashion specialist and fit advisor here at readingglasses.com. Today, I'm gonna walk you through some simple and easy tricks of the trade that will enable you to customize the fit of your new frames. Hopefully, they'll be perfect right out of the box, but sometimes the smallest tweak and adjustment can make a noticeable difference. Okay. Your glasses have made their journey from our warehouse where they passed our 24-point inspection by our lab team, including a four-point alignment, nose pad calibration, lens alignment, and power verification. And now you have them in your anxious little hands. Yippee! Accompanying your glasses, you'll find some information pamphlets, some general in nature and others more specific to the style and model you chose. These pamphlets contain some great information. For instance, this one. Adjusting and positioning your new glasses can make your glasses fit like they were custom made for you. It can also be a lifesaver when you fall asleep reading that new bestseller that you just got and then you need to readjust your frames back to normal. Uh, you'll know the best way to do it. And I am speaking from experience on that one. So as I mentioned, your glasses have been carefully adjusted to fit correctly right out of the box. But sometimes a tweak here and there can be very helpful. Naturally, there's a proper way to do this. So you can refer to it at any time right here. So keep this guide in a safe place. If you do misplace it, you can always call one of our fit advisors like me who can walk you through the process. Our demo today will focus on the adjustments to correct through the three most common problems. Glasses that sit crooked, glasses that slip on or off your face, glasses that include nose pads that may sit too high or too low on your face, or don't completely conform perfectly to your nose. First, glasses that sit crooked. The four point alignment that I mentioned earlier is the starting point. So let me show you what I mean. When I rest the glasses on a flat surface, both right side up and right side down, as I'll show you, all four of the points meet. So here and here. And then if I turn them over, they all meet. And if I give them a wobble test, there's no wobbling, right? No gap, no wobble. These are adjusted properly. Now, what happens if there is a little wobble? Well, let's take this pair for instance. Let me show you, if I set these down on a flat surface, I can already tell there's a wobble here. And that's because they're meeting in three places, not four. So one, two, three places are fine, but not this fourth. So if there is a little wobble, you're gonna hold the glasses firmly and gently bend the temple on the end side where there's a gap. So here's where our gap was. Just gently, gently until it sits flat. So if I give it my wobble test, no wiggle. So small increments are best. And most people don't know this, but most temple arms include a wire core, which allows for minor adjustments. So make sure when adjusting the temples to isolate any stress from the hinge area, focusing on just the point where you want to affect the change. When they sit flat, right side up, or upside down, and there's no wobble, you're done. This alignment is ideal for those with perfectly symmetrical faces and ears. And notice when I place them on my face, they're level on my face. But how about those people, which are like most people, including my husband, who has one ear that's slightly lower or higher than the other. So they kind of sit like this. As a result, they're a little crooked. Well, simple. Again, grasp the glasses firmly like this and gently bend the temple on the side that's leaning. So the leaning side in the same direction of the lean. Do this in very small increments as a tiny adjustment. That's all that's usually needed. Okay, next I'll show you what to do about glasses that slide down your nose so that you don't constantly have to do this, <laughs> right? So there's an easy fix for this as well. Let me show you. See how I can increase the bend of the temple arm where they curve over the ear for a more secure fit. So you just bend them right down, right? Now let's try these. Pretty good, 
no slippage. Yeah, pretty good. So, the inverse of the slipping problem is when the curve of the temple arm is adjusted too short. This can cause two problems, discomfort around your ear and glasses that don't sit at the proper angle. If your glasses look like this, right? Just modify the bend over the ear to lessen the curve like this. Just do it in small increments until they feel right and then always align with that four point alignment you learned earlier. So if we give it the wiggle test, pretty good. And finally, our last adjustment is for those with glasses that include nose pads. You have an additional option for adjusting them to sit at a comfortable height. Your nose pads will be pre-adjusted with a spread that in most cases will feel perfect. But if it feels like your glasses are sitting a little too high or a little low, a minor adjustment can do the trick. Also, if you purchase bifocals or progressive no-line lenses and would like to raise or lower the reading channel, a simple adjustment can fix that too. As you probably guessed by now, just hold the glasses firmly in one hand and gently reposition the nose pads using your thumb and forefinger on your opposite hand. One side at a time, very gently. And to raise the fit, adjust inward. To lower the fit, adjust nose pads outward. Maintain the contour of each side of the nose pads so that it matches the curve of your nose. You'll find that just minor adjustments made evenly to both nose pads can have a huge impact on how comfortable your glasses are to wear. Well, that's about it for now. I hope this demo shows you that with just a little courage and in as little as a few seconds, you can enjoy and maintain a perfect, personalized, super comfortable fit. Keep in mind that along with this demo and this pamphlet, you can always contact one of our fit advisors like me, who will be happy to walk you through the process. And feel free to let us know when you first place your order if you have any special pre-adjustments you would like for us to make for you. If you constantly experience glasses that are too wide or too narrow, sit too high or too low, we can make some preliminary adjustments that, if they don't erase the problem completely, will at least to give you a better starting point. Well, that's it for now. Thank you so much for your time and please reach out to us with any questions or special needs. Happy reading.